Nasty Customs. We're going to show you a quick little video here of how to install the wiper transmission and cowl when you guys are doing these upgraded front ends on the trucks, the 9907 truck. You can either put the 08 to 10 nose or the 11 to 16 nose with our kits. I'm going to show you quickly how this works out here because uh, we get obviously a lot of calls on this. This is your original wiper transmission that comes out of your 99 to 07. It has five bolt holes and this is what it looks like. This is the new one. It only has three bolt holes. And this is what the, the new style will look like. So any linkage from a 2008 up truck will fit any one of the conversions. So you can have 11 to 16, you can still use an 08 to 10, you can use an 11 transmission wiper cowl and put it in an 08 to 10 no swap. So it doesn't really matter. What you want to do here is these are your three factory bolt holes that hold your motor onto the back of the, the linkage. And this one, it holds your wiper arm on. That's what your motor looks like. What you're going to do is unbolt these three bolts, take your original motor off. You don't use the motor to the new linkage, you use your original motor. This will save you in wiring problems. This is what it'll look like when it's on. It's in a, a reverse position, but it's the same thing. So what you're going to want to do here is take your motor off and then you don't need the linkage. You don't need that linkage anymore. You're going to take the motor, you're going to bolt it on with the three bolts, so that's what it looks like. And the only modification that might have to be done here, depending on what vehicle you have, is this little wiper arm. This little wiper arm, some of them have round holes, some motors have round shafts, and some motors have square shafts. So what you want to do is, if you have the linkage with the round hole and the motor with the square shaft, you want the square shaft, when it's bolted on, will be straight across. The round hole, I just take a, a whizzer tool with a carbide cutter, I put it in the hole and I tap it a little to one side, tap it a little to another. I mean, we're talking very little tiny bit. And then you push it down so it'll be snug onto the motor. You take this one bolt here and you suck it on. And then that will lock that plate onto the actual motor. This is very important now. The linkage needs to be straight across just like this when you're finished. This little arm needs to point towards the passenger side and all the linkages need to be straight across the truck like that. This positions where your arms will stop and start on your truck. You don't want them in the middle of the windshield because you have this arm down. So this is exactly what you want it to look like when you're done. You want everything straight across and a little arm pointing to the passenger side. Very simple. The motor only goes in one way and that's the only modification to get this together. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you really quickly on the truck a few little things that you have to modify. So these are your original plastic bolts, uh, screw covers, caps that go in here. You take those off all the way across the truck. You don't need those. There's two little small areas here that you're going to have to trim. This is for where the cap goes. It goes right on this. What you do is you just trim this one completely off just like I did. You just trim it off. You don't need it. And on some of the other trucks, some trucks and some trucks don't have it, you might have to trim off this area right here. So. It's not crucial where it goes. When the arm comes around, you're just making a little bit of clearance when the arm comes around. That's it. So anything roughly in that area, that's roughly the size of my hand. That's all you trim off of that. I trimmed it real quick here just for video. Obviously, you know, you do a little bit of a nicer job. So once you have that situation like that, you take your new... Now this, it goes into place. It's a little snugger than, uh, than the original one, but it will go in. You obviously would hook up your wire into your motor first, get it in there, now it's a little snug, but the two outside holes will go in your factory two outside upper holes in your uh, original factory, you don't use the lower holes that you once, once had before, and then you snug that bolt in there, and all you do is you pull the linkage towards you, and you will squeeze this one in there. That's basically bolted in, except for this third one right down in the middle here. Now you can do anything you want there. You can drill it out and put one of the nut certs that comes in the kit, one of my front end um, conversion kits. You can use one of the nut certs there and you can bolt this in. You could drill it straight through because you can reach under here and put a nut. And what you might want to do is you, you want it for your specific truck, build this up with washers. What it does is it pushes the linkage back and forth and it'll put pressure on your windshield the way your arms are. So you, whatever you want to do, I mean you can snug it down all the way there and put one bolt. You can move it up slightly, build washes underneath this bracket and build it up a little bit if you want to get it snugged a little bit more. And obviously down the line, you know, these only basically go on one way. And that's where 
your wipers at the lower level. And this isn't really important. See, and I, you, you, if you play with it a little bit, you'll see it yourself. This really doesn't do a hell of a lot, but if, if you're an individual that wants perfection on each piece, you, you might want to play with it just to get it to where you want. But it's really not going to do anything because this thing's spring-loaded. So, and then that's basically your install. You plug it in, the wipers will come on, they'll stop. Like, they want your linkage straight across here. I can't stress that enough. That's where you want that straight across. Um, this entire linkage from Ford is brand new, only like $43. Uh, most people get them from the junkyard, they pay $50. I just want to note to some of you guys that on some of the linkages that come from Ford, this little silver arm doesn't come with it, and I don't understand why. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, maybe sometimes they, I, I don't know how they have it, but sometimes the linkage shows up with this little silver arm, and sometimes it doesn't, and then Ford can't really find a little silver arm. So that's the basic install for this, and... Um, we're gonna do a quick little video, a little thing over here and show you how to do the plastic covers to it. Well, this is your plastic cover. This is the left-hand side cowl cover for the newer 11 to 16 nose. Now on the 08 to 10 nose, you can use the 08 to 10 cover and you can pretty much bolt it onto the truck. You don't really have any problems with that. You might have to drill a couple of holes, whatever the situation is, but the, you use the 08, to 11 linkage for an, or on an 08 to 10 nose conversion you use the 08 to an 11 linkage and the 08 to 10 covers and they go right on a truck on the 11 to 16 you're going to have to use the 11 to 16 cow covers if this is the case you have to trim here what I'm showing you the trim we want to trim off this whole lower piece here where I have the X you want that off and then you have to trim it here and then the other trimming is going to be on these plastic clips the only clip you leave is this side clip. This clips into your new fender. This will clip down onto your fender, but the rest of these here are gonna do nothing but get in your way. So all you do is you just quickly, simply. Trim those off. You can leave this clip on because this clips into the other plastic cowl and it holds it together so that you trim those off but you leave this clip on. This will clip into your factory fender. Then you trim this. Um, basically want to remove that lower section you're gonna do a better job here I'm doing this real quick again just for the video to show you guys and then once you get that section out you're gonna to want to trim this section going to be the same for both sides this is what you're going to do so you're trimming it in this little area here and you're trimming this big overlip and hanging lip there that will more or less get you lined up to where you want to go you take a little more time you can cut this lip off further if you choose to however you want to make it look the nicest um, this basically will get you on you once you put it on there we'll show you real quick roughly how to get this thing on and we'll show you how to make the mount holes I mean, it sits over, and this is why you're trimming this area here, which is, that's actually very close. We're, we're level here, and I can see that we're level. This is almost a perfect cut. So all you want, you want to trim it nicer, smooth it out, sand it, however you want to do it. You, there's a little bit of a lip here that overhangs your factory uh, steel cowl. I mean, you can, you can trim it any way you want to trim it. So what we do is we do the same exact thing to both sides of the cowl. And that will get the cowl to drop on. This clip over here, like I said, that we left here, this will clip into the new fenders that you put on. So the only other thing that you might want to do is, is these two cowl covers in the center will clip together. What I like to do is when you remove your cowl, you remove your wiring harness, and you move it down. You have factory holes right here. When you end up having this on in the right place, you find a factory hole from underneath, you mark it, you drill through, and you can put a bolt here and that'll hold that on. If you do it right in the right spots, you can put the cow plastic 
the wiring harness under the cowl, use one bolt and bolt this back on and it looks factory again.